Hi, it's Alina from XM8 Mastery, and over the next couple of weeks, we are going to be going over some short tips that'll save you time when estimating. So we just held a retreat this last week here in Salt Lake City for some of our members and had a great grand old time. And so I'd like to share with you some of the takeaways from that session, some of the shortcuts and things that I use that they found very beneficial. So just give you a couple of quick tips that you can easily start to use. One of the takeaways was using the grouping tree here to add folders. I think it's uh, kind of confusing. A lot of people get lost here. So I just wanted to show a big revelation that we had in the retreat, which was when you click add here, that you can check off continuous add. And what continuous add does is allows this window to stay open while you're adding all of your folders in the grouping tree instead of having to click in and out. The less that you click around in Xactimate, the better off you are. Because when you click, that takes seconds, which turns into minutes, which eventually adds up to hours. So the more I can get you to focus and use these small shortcuts, then you'll be better off and you'll write estimates faster, all right? So that was one of the first things was checking off continuous add as we're adding items to our grouping tree. The other thing I'd like you to know is when you start to type the name of the folder for your grouping tree, Xactimate tries to use this predictive text, as you can see in blue there, it entered that for me. And you want to use the predictive text as much as you can in Xactimate when naming your folder. Folders. So if I add a folder here, it says interior and then maybe roof. If I use that predictive text, it'll create these folders and attach them to the summary for dwelling at the end of the estimate. Where you'll also see that the folder name, if you allow it to autofill, will is for the garage or any type of other structures. So if I add this garage with this predictive text here, it will actually create a separate summary page at the end of my report for other structures. So the interior and the roof folders would go on the dwelling part of the summary page and the garage would be separated out to the other structures. Same thing if we add something like fencing here. Not fencing, we need fencing, there we go. Fencing. If we add these add line items to these folders, it'll go to the summary page of the bottom of our report rather than the dwelling portion of the report. And the reason behind that is on the policy, there's coverage A, coverage B, and coverage C. And coverage A is the dwelling, coverage B is usually other structures, and they actually have different policy limits and, and uh, stipulations for the different parts of the coverages. So that Xactimate knows that, tries to help you out here by creating that separate page. So I'm going to add some line items real quick and then go take a look at what those separate pages will look like at the end of your report. So now that I've added some line items to the estimate here, let's go take a look at what our completed report is going to look at. And we're going to go straight to the summary pages here at the bottom of the report because that's where we're going to see this separated out. So my roofing items and my interior items are on my summary for dwelling page. And the summary for other structures page houses anything that is an other structure. So the garage, the fence should come here to your other structures page. So that's just a nice shortcut for you that if you allow that predictive text with your grouping tree additions here, that Xactimate is actually doing something in the background to help you out when you're accepting those autofills. So those were just two of the many things that came out of our Exomate Mastery Retreat this past week, and we'll be sharing more in the coming weeks. If you like this video, be sure to, well, like it and share it. Also, be sure to subscribe so that you receive those future tips that are coming up. And if you have any questions, be sure to comment below. If you want to know more about Exomate Mastery and what we do, be sure to visit www.exomatemastery.com. Hope you guys have a great week in your business, and I'll see you next week.